we must put an end to this racism. Racism is bad. Tommy Mottola made some very racist remarks. But what he said was to one of the artists who work at uh, Sony, he has a contract with, uh, with the company, and um, he called him a fat black nigger. Some fireworks today. Of course, Tommy Mottola is the head of Sony Corporation. Multi-platinum singer Michael Jackson is feuding with Sony and Tommy Mottola. Sony is, of course, his big name record company. At a speech and rally with Reverend Al Sharpton in Harlem today, the gloved wonder charged that the recording industry was a racist conspiracy that turns profits at the expense of performers, particularly minority artists. Reverend Sharpton has recently formed a coalition to investigate whether some artists are financially exploited. Right after his speech, I spoke briefly to the king of pop for a rare exclusive television interview. Michael, why was it important for you to be here and what do you think of the support of Reverend Al Sharpton? I think it's important to be here. I'm not just fighting for myself, I'm fighting for all artists. Those uh, great artists who pioneered, you know, entertainment business as well as songwriting, as well as incredible staging. You know, the fact that they have been taken by the system, totally broken them financially. You know, and this has to stop as conspiracy. You said out there that you felt that Sony was racist. I didn't say Sony was racist. I said Tommy Mottola is racist. Who's the head of Sony? Yeah, Tommy Mottola. Do you feel the recording industry as a whole has been, you use the word sort of conspiracy against black artists? Why do you think this has happened? Why do I think this is Because money is the root of all evil. Um, you also said out there that you believe that some of the recording um, companies take black artists' money. You, we brought up James Brown and some of these others. At the end of their careers are broke and penniless. Yeah. What is your financial situation? I'm in an incredible financial situation. I just wrote somebody a check for $500 million. But when good news doesn't sell, if it's something negative and that's a rumor, that's when it's blasted. No. I don't expect the press to say anything no. good, you know. Well, I hear one of your dreams is to do directing. Yes. Tell, what, what are some of the other things you want to do in your career? Uh, um, films. Oh. We're making our own motion pictures, and I have a movie coming up. I'm directing, and, you know, great entertainment. What do you think of Reverend Al Sharpton, and why is his support so important at this time for you? Because he's an incredible orator. And he is supported by, uh, you know, the public in, a, in a, I think, a beautiful way. And he understands. We need a mouthpiece, a voice for the voiceless, you know, and he's, he's the guy. One other quick question, just because you're in New York. One of the frustrations on 9-11 was the charity album. It, just what are your thoughts about 9-11 being here in New York? I hated it. I hated it if it was anywhere. An emotional and very interesting Michael Jackson.